Today, I'd like to talk about the cost of CubeSats. But first, this is a maximum PowerPoint tracking solar charger. It charges a lithium ion battery such as this 18650 or a smaller lithium ion battery. It charges from a solar panel and can efficiently charge lithium ion battery. The solar cells themselves, they were somewhere around 40 to 50 cents per solar cell. This maximum PowerPoint tracker was maybe $25. This, uh, this 18650 was somewhere between $4 and $6. This lithium ion to 5 volt boost converter was mm, maybe $15. This Raspberry Pi B Plus was maybe $30 when I purchased it. This Raspberry Pi Zero was, I think they're still selling for $5. This upon Arduino was maybe $20. And this Atmel XMega development board was $45. A camera for the Arduino was maybe $20 to $25. A whole bunch of these little sensors, ADC and accelerometer and current sensors, maybe these were $15 each. Taking all this into consideration, I would like to talk about the price of CubeSats. I was looking around at CubeSats just to see how expensive they are. The lowest price one that I found was NASA's PhoneSat. They listed $3,500 as the maximum amount of money that they were going to spend on what I assume were material costs. You can purchase a CubeSat starter kit from Pumpkin for around $6,000, which includes the Cube's motherboard and a dev board, and you can spend another $1,200 for the frame, but that doesn't include any other sensors or power management or flight control components that you would need. You can purchase a CubeSat from Interorbital Systems for around $11,000, which is only missing a radio, batteries, and a payload. You can configure your own satellite on Endurosat.com, um, and the bare minimum that I came up with was $13,000, which included the frame, batteries, a solar panel, a flight computer, and an antenna. However, it still costs $13,000, and there was certainly more that you would want to add to it. So what I would like to know is where does this cost come from? Certainly all these components I have here are consumer goods, they're cheap, um, these solar cells aren't the most high quality and certainly not the most performance. None of these components have been designed for the rigors of space. There isn't a huge market for CubeSats yet either. Sure, space is becoming less and less expensive by the year. However, it still costs something around $30,000 uh, to launch a 1U CubeSat, and if you're going to spend that much already, if you have that much budget, you might as well invest in a product that you know is going to work. You don't want to put a dud up into space. From that perspective, if you have money, it makes sense to spend a little and buy into an ecosystem where you can configure and build a CubeSat for ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000. Because if you're already spending $30,000 or potentially sixty thousand or a hundred thousand dollars you might as well spend the money to make sure your cubesat does what you want and it actually survives single upset events and radiation aren't easy to deal with you want to buy a product that actually stands up to those challenges now i'd like to emphasize that i'm not against the idea of creating a good product and selling it for profit but i am not a fan of a huge markup if you have a lot of money to throw around it makes sense to buy a product that you know is going to work you can trade money for time, and that's fine. However, if you're a lower budget school team doing a science payload, any cost that isn't associated directly with the science mission is taking away from that mission. And I'd like to see what it actually costs to create a CubeSat from the ground up. So that is the structure, flight computer, radio, and associated antennas, solar cells, battery systems, power management for those, a whole bunch of basic sensors such as a magnetometer, an accelerometer, temperature sensors, and a sun sensor, and basic attitude control of some kind. And I'd like to do this all for a material cost of less than $1,000. That is totally arbitrary, just pick that number, but I think it's possible and I think you can make a product that accomplishes basic two-way communication, basic attitude control for a low price. I'd like to see if it's possible. Is this totally foolhardy? I'm not sure. Let me know.